You can get out? Oh, oh my gosh. This tight parking situation is not what Hussein Louis be expected when he finally came to see his brand new townhouse in Vancouver. We were shocked. So it's impossible to, to park. He purchased the townhouse as a pre-sale three years ago and says it's extremely difficult for either of his cars to fit the small car parking spot. We are really disappointed. Like I feel that um, the unit is without a parking spot. And did you know that this type of parking be here? No, no, no emails came from the company at all. Uh, just came. This is your parking spot, 21. They, uh, they said they can't do anything about it. The developer Open Forum Property says all parking stalls comply with relevant City of Vancouver standards and that the parking lot was approved by the city. I don't want to scratch it. We did bring Hussein's concerns to the City of Vancouver. It sent an inspector to the lot to measure the spaces, who also found the stalls do comply with city parking requirements. The city says a small parking space in Vancouver should be at least 2.3 meters wide. If there's a column, it can't encroach into the parking spot any more than 15 centimeters. Hussein is still left questioning his situation. That's the, uh, we, we're frustrated. We, people paid lots of money for this. Uh, that doesn't suit what we have a plan, what we have like uh, did for this unit. So yeah, we feel like as if we, are, we were cheated in a way. The city says in January, an inspector did go to the site and deemed it compliant, and that typically no measurements are taken unless there's a significant difference noted in person. One real estate lawyer says it's important for anyone purchasing a presale to pay careful attention to contracts, even when it comes to parking. So the problem with a presale is you don't see what you're buying when you sign the contract. You, you can see there's a section on parking stalls, which usually says the developer gets to pick the parking stall and it could be any kind of parking stall anywhere. He said it's also a good idea to have a lawyer review the clauses before signing any contracts. For regarding parking stalls, I tell the client to re revise the offer and say I want a full-size unobstructed parking stall. He says it's important to be proactive so you can get what you're paying for. Now, parking stalls are very expensive. Some parking stalls downtown can run you fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000. So it's not a small detail. Meanwhile, Hussein and his parking stall neighbors are still left feeling frustrated, hoping for another solution soon. Beneath Brage, CBC News, Vancouver.